Alright, here we go, George Watkins. Another exciting matchup coming up for everybody. We've got George Watkins against Joseph Mitch. Joseph Menchie, nobody has more heart than this guy. I'm impressed every time I've seen him compete. This guy's a hard worker and uh, just a stand-up guy. Excellent competitor, always comes ready to fight, ready to brawl. First fight he had was with his t-shirt, now that the hard one's out of the way. Time to see him rock and roll in that ring. Change up of music. Good walkout song. It's a good battle of walkout music. Very long for 151 pounds. But to see how he uses his length here tonight. Lean. Mean. Kickboxing machine. There you go. <laughs> These guys are both shredded. Everyone's in impeccable shape tonight, man. Awesome job, match. It's a fight for ECF. Gotta be in shape, you gotta put the work in. Packed house tonight, live crowd, awesome energy. Fight number six coming at you. King of the ring three. Christian the Ferris here with Kevin Reed on the action. They touch gloves. George Watkins in the blue. Menchi in the red. Right away moving to his southpaw stance. Throwing big hooks at Watkins. Menchi likes to switch stance between southpaw and conventional, really confusing the opponents. And for 150 pounds, they are throwing some heat. Whoa. George Watkins snaps, snaps back the head of Joseph Menchi. These guys, there's no feel out process. They are throwing heavy leather already. They were arguing about whose walkout song was better. Got <laughs> themselves fired up. Menchi must have thrown about 40 or 50 strikes already in his first round. I hope he doesn't burn out. Walking, George. Smoothing out. Yeah, staying calm and collected. Big. You hear those punches? Great hooks by Menchi in the clinch and again. Starts. George's guard is up, weathering the storm, doesn't seem to be phased by any of it. Watkins with that left cross, stagger Menchi for a second. Yeah, Got he's him backing backwards. up, he's backing up. I wonder if that's fatigue or if that stunned him. Oof. Throwing his whole body yeah, into those it's, shots. it's changing his stance. That's how hard he's throwing that right hand. And again it lands for Watkins. Both these guys are connected. And she back in the orthodox stance. Watkins staying southpaw. Yeah, Watkins is a true southpaw. He stays in his stance. Likes throwing that straight left hand. Big looping right hand by Menchi. Yeah, he's got an unorthodox style that could really throw people off, man. And again at the buzzer. Bell rings. Action at first round. Once again.
Very exciting way to start this fight. Yeah, he, he'll throw that right from all angles, uppercuts, right hooks, overhands. He's coming hard. What do you give that first round to? Slugfest of a first round. Slugfest. I think with the aggression, I give it to Menchi. Good teep by Watkins to open up round number two. Watkins staying focused, staying sharp. Looks very confident. Menchi loading up big on that left. Yep. But Watkins with a stiff jab. Right down the middle, yeah. Great, crisp, clean combinations. Menchi spun around like he was fighting gosh mall angles. Here we go. Good inside leg kick by Watkins. Haven't seen one of those in a while. Menchi. Visibly slowing down. But still. Moving throwing, forwards. Yeah, punches in bunches. Just six, seven, eight punches at a time coming from all angles. Watkins keeps his composure, hands up, blocks most. I'm impressed at Watkins' composure for sure. Not getting overwhelmed by this onslaught. Slipping and blocking a lot of those punches. He needs to come back now, and there he goes. He tags him right on the chin. Beautiful Menchie slip with that just left hand. comes back, though. Just, it's hard to fight an unorthodox guy like that who's just coming at you from every angle, backs up, hitting you, moves forward. But Watkins is doing a good job keeping his composure and countering with clean technique. Uppercuts, body shots. Watkins coming on. Watkins is letting Menchie gas himself out. And then countering. And starting to turn it on here yeah, as Menchie slows. Looking good. Good game plan. Knee good. to the body. First knee to the body that lands, and that could have hurt Menchie. But Menchie walks off tough. Third and final round coming up. I am interested to see if Menchie has any gas left because he is throwing everything he has at him. Yeah, it's hard to keep a pace going like that. Uh, Watkins is uh, really coming and on. And it looks oh, like they're waving off the this fight. fight. Watkins takes the win, was countering Menchi in that second round, letting Menchi gas, and then just hitting him with a barrage of punches to the body and to the head. And maybe that last knee really got Menchi, like I said. That knee That's was hard. Watkins landed, and nice. when he landed, he was smooth and crisp and powerful. Menchie had nothing left, yeah, and George Watkins up. takes the victory. Watkins slipped three punches in that replay and then countered. Here's the end of the last round. Body shot, uppercut, body shot, uppercut. I would have loved to see that go a third round. If Menchie wanted a third round, I say let it go. He'll be back September 15th, and we'll get to see more action. That was, that was a great ETF. fight. That was a classic, you know, brawler versus technical boxer fighter. It was, it was great.